Hello and welcome everyone. Today I have a lot of things to show you. Um, my landlord just reached out to me like maybe last week and said that they had a bunch of clothes that they were just going to be giving to Goodwill that were her grandmother's. She did a lot of traveling and loved clothes. So they were just looking for someone who wanted them before they gave them to a thrift store. So I said, I'll take it all. I don't really know exactly what's in every bag. So we're gonna be checking that out together. We have this bag, we have this bag, and we have this bag. And then I got a few things in Wisconsin that I just got at the thrift store when I went with my sister and I figured I'd throw this into this video since this is like a haul of sorts. First, I got this really cute purse, which I just feel like is so me. I love the ruffles and it has this little like flower pin that can be left on here or it can be removed and put on something else, which would be fun if you're using this and wanted to like Put it on a scarf for your hair, or on your dress or top or whatever, you know? I got these capris, which were a dollar houndstooth, homemade, I believe, from the inside, just because there's no tag and it's kind of unfinished seeming, uh, but they fit really, really well, and I think that these will be cool for the fall. I love, like, a capri length with a tall boot. So I had to grab those. I got this because I thought it was so funny. It's like a tube top that has a pocket and it says, I love trouble. So just kind of a little ironic piece. I got another shirt too, but it's in the wash because I was wearing it up at the cabins. Um, and it's got like wolves on the front and on the back it says like, if you find me drunk, please return to the wolf den or something like that. It's just hilarious. So another funny shirt that I got, I'll try to like take a photo of it and put it up here so you can see what I'm talking about. And then the last thing I got from the thrift store, which isn't clothes, but it's just this cool like fabric ribbon that I think is super pretty, could be used in hair or you know, on some kind of a project. Um, I'm always collecting ribbon at the thrift store. Okay, now for the goods from my landlord. Andrew has all of my tripods over in the studio and I just don't want to grab them. So you're precariously placed on my windowsill and hopefully it's just a good enough angle. So she's given me a couple things before, like men's suits. She gave me this one, which is super cool. It's got like the coattails on it, nice wool. It came with a vest. And then this one with the pants. She said they were from about the 1930s and uh, he used to be a minister, so a little history behind these. First we have this, which I feel like my mom would really love. She loves plaid, and I think that this is, wow, this is already really cool. I love how the hood can be unzipped. And although wool is super duper scratchy, I feel like with a sweater on in the fall, this could be super cute. I'm going on a camping trip, and I could see me bringing this with, because it'll get chilly at night in the mountains. And it's actually a pretty dang good size for me. I could definitely layer stuff under it, but it's not like I'm swimming in it or anything. Here's another really nice jacket. These are in super good condition. Beautiful inside. America's most famous coat, the tag says, which is pretty cool. I love the big buttons on it too. Ah, I love this. Stop. I'm sure this was meant to be worn like under or over something, but this is super duper cool. Oh, it's too tiny though. Maybe I could add an extension. Patterns on this little part are super pretty. It's about a 22 inch waist. Okay, this is so cute. Stop, I love this. This also is like the wedding vibe. It's like a little beaded hat. It has a little like chin strap on, but it's kind of stretched out from the ears. So just tuck it up inside like so. Oh my gosh, that is so precious. I really wanted more like summertime decorative hats and this is perfect. Okay, this she said is from Hong Kong from the 60s. Wow. I don't think that this would be appropriate for me to wear. Somebody let me know, but it is super gorgeous. Okay, this is super cool too. It's like a white leather jacket with fur trim on it. 
another 60s piece. This is so, so cool. I love this. And it is in such great condition. There's some little spider webs on it, but I can just clean that off. How cute. Wow, this is kept really, really well. Even the inside is in great shape. This dress, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. I believe she also said that this one is from Hong Kong. Okay, here it is on. It fits like a glove. And I think it was taken in right along here. So it can be let out like a little bit. Yes, I have to show Andrew. Ooh, it looks like another little dress. Here's the jacket. The red inside, are you joking? This is beautiful. The jacket fits great. You like it? This dress is also a 22 inch waist. Realistically, it's just not me, but how pretty is this? The dress also has this beautiful little belt. It's just so pretty. Look at Birch right here with this little coming up. Thanks, quit trying to climb the wall. Okay, the last bag, these are so fun. This is actually a kid's, but this could fit me. So we'll see. Maybe I'll try it on right now. Made in Belgium. I might just move the buttons down on the back so it hangs a little bit lower. Yeah, that's much, much more doable. So I, I think I'll just make that little modification and then I'll be able to wear this, which I think is so adorable. I could even do it, not even move the um, buttons, but just tie it up around like this. I might actually do that too, because it's just less work and it hits more at the length where I want it to be. Like that is so cute. And there's this little jacket that goes with it. The jacket, I don't think that I'll fit. Um, I mean, there's always a chance. Oh, no, 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 it's too tight in the shoulder blades. This one's definitely working. Um, but I know some kids. The little Peter Pan collar is just so cute. A cute little sweater. This could fit me for sure. Pure wool, made in Italy. Oh my gosh, and then there's this little jacket that goes with it. And that would be super cute for fall. Poofy shirt underneath, it's kind of making it hard, but it does fit. I'm in love with the double button situation. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This little sailor top. Oh my gosh, you have got to be joking. This one's by that same brand, and it's also made in Italy. Ooh, a nice little wool skirt. This could be cute with either of those tops that I just showed. Ooh, so, so pretty. These colors on this are just absolutely otherworldly. I believe this is a child's kimono, and I did find a little tear, but nothing that cannot be fixed. Okay, this is another piece from Hong Kong. I love the light blue color. It's really, really pretty. I believe she said these were also a child's. We're getting down to the last few items in here. So this is second to last, and it's this cool poncho thing. I had something like this before, but in a different print. I think it was more pinks. These look so cool. I love the pleating and it's just fun for like a beach day. It looks like psychedelic angel vibes. And this is in like perfect condition. And then finally, this gorgeous, gorgeous quilted coat, which I am obsessed with these. I have wanted one for so long, but they are very expensive online and I just haven't had the money to drop on one. This one is like so perfect. I love these colors. These are my favorite colors all together, like purple, pink, and blue. And it's super cozy. And just like in absolutely amazing condition. I also love the little swirlies. Like I'm a swirly girly, you guys know that. So that is all that I have to share with you today. Thanks for dropping in and checking out these cool clothes that just got given to me today. I'm super duper grateful that she thought of me um, to give me these clothes that have been in her family. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and got some inspiration, just had a good time, whatever. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Um, yeah, Birch? We are getting ready for the wedding here because we're getting married next month. So it's like 50 days away until the wedding. So if you don't hear from me, it's because I'm in go mode. 
uh, trying to get all the last minute details kind of smoothed out and finish getting decorations ready. We're doing it here at the house, so we're doing everything ourselves. We're not having anybody catered or anything either. It's gonna be very small and intimate and romantic. Um, so I'm stoked, but just to let you in on that. I plan on sharing more about the wedding probably after the whole thing, but yeah, that's life right now. So sending you lots of love from Birch and I. We will catch you in the next one.